Hello, my name is Ulrike Sitzelsberger. I'm a cultural historian and one of my main interests are the history and culture of the city of Berlin. And this is what my poem I have chosen actually relates to. It reflects as a political satire contemporary circumstances and we need to go back to the year 1953. At that point Germany and Berlin had been divided for four years. Since 1949 I've got the Federal Republic of Germany with the temp temporary um, capital of Bonn and we've got a GDR and the capital of the GDR is East Berlin. Initially enthusiasm in the GDR was immense for this new project to build a communist, a socialist state. However, by 1953, people in the GDR began to see the differences between East and West quite sharply. And more importantly, for what I would like to introduce, they realized that their engagement with rebuilding East Berlin became more and more challenging. The quotas for the workers were extreme. And the exhaustion and the general frustration exploded in June 1953. Ironically, they exploded uh, at prestigious Stalin Ali, which was rebuilt as socialist realism to build palaces for the workers. The workers had hoped they would get support from the West. That support never came. Instead, quite brutally, in East Berlin and elsewhere in the former GDR, the uprising was squashed. A while later, the famous writer and poet Bertolt Brecht, who had returned to Germany and had chosen the GDR as his home for the remaining years, trying to contribute to this project, he published a poem that sums up the absurdity and of course also the brutality of the situation. Bert Brecht took a long time to take his stance and the poem was actually not published at the time. Nonetheless, I find it incredibly powerful what poetry can do in terms of contemporary history and its involvement. So in German, the poem is titled Die Lösung, in English, The Solution. Nach dem Aufstand des 17. Juni ließ der Sekretär des Schriftstellerverbands in der Stalinallee Flugblätter verteilen, auf denen zu lesen war, dass das Volk das Vertrauen der Regierung verscherzt habe und es nur durch verdoppelte Arbeit zurückerobern könne. Wäre es da nicht doch einfacher, die Regierung löste das Volk auf und wählte ein anderes. In Translation and uh, I've just made a few amendments based on a translation one can find on Wikipedia. This sounds as follows. The solution. After the uprising of the 17th of June, the secretary of the Writers' Union had leaflets distributed on the Stalin Allee, which stated that the people had lost the confidence of the government and could only win it back by working harder. Would it not therefore be simpler for the government to dissolve the people and elect another? Very brief, very much to the point, very much linking literature and history, and therefore the poem I've chosen. Thank you very much. <laughs>